Hi, and welcome to the mid-October energy update. It's an energy update for the second half of the month, and it kind of picks up where we left off on the monthly update that I did just two weeks ago. So stick around and see what's in store. I think you're going to like it. Okay, so let's get into this reading. I already pulled three cards, and um, they're actually really good, a little different than what's been coming up every month so far. Although the first card that I had chosen really does kind of pick up where we left off in the October monthly update that I did. Um, and the card that came up was Rest and Rejuvenation. So um, we finished off the reading, the last reading had to do with self-care and nurturing. So this is kind of picking up on that, but going a little deeper because this card with Rest and Rejuvenation is really more about just really tuning in and being in that relaxed frame, that relaxed state of being where inspiration can flow through. So really, um, you know, making time to meditate, um, whatever that might be for you, doesn't necessarily have to mean sitting still and quietly and meditating, quieting your mind. It could be in some sort of activity. I find that I've taken up oil painting again. If I'm oil painting, that's like a meditation. I'm like in that energy, in that zone, in that creative flow. Um, my husband was just painting a car. I just renovated this car. And the painting process for him was more of that kind of um, getting into that zone where you just sometimes just, do, I have a brother-in-law who also works on cars. And for him, like, buffing out a car, like even just getting it ready for paint. Now with their brothers, I guess that's why they look like this. But for them, it gets them in that zone. I mean, it could be anything that that you enjoy or sometimes even something that is sort of monotonous where you don't have to think about what you're doing so much that you can allow yourself to be in a more relaxed state. And then inspiration comes in. Almost like being in the shower. I mean, taking a shower could be your meditation. I know I find that, you know, electricity flows through water super quick, right? So I find that in the shower, I get these amazing ideas where I have to keep, get, get out of my shower, writing down the ideas because I might forget them an hour later, you know, they're just kind of passing through. So that was really about that. And uh, something my son turned me on to, which many of you may already know about, is an app called Beatfulness. And I like it a lot. I only just tried it because I found that my mind was a bit too scattered lately, where even in my own meditation, I wasn't enough, able to really quiet that mind. And look, my cat has to go and play at this very moment with her scratch pad. Sorry about that. Um, so my son said, why don't you just use this app? I love this app. It, 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 you know, it uses money, uh, music. Money. Wow, that's interesting. Where'd that word come from? Um, that's that uses um, brain entrainment. It has the um, you know different uh, different. Her, her, there's my hair. She is there's the cat. It uses you know different brain waves, right? So that you can really get lost in the sounds, and you use earbuds. You know, it's working left brain, right brain. And it just really can put you into, um, you, know, you can pick meditations that are um, alpha, beta, theta, delta, gamma. And so I, I like it because having that sound and having that going on and feeling the vibration of all that can really take you out of that loop of thoughts that just keep running. And, you know, a lot of times th those thoughts are not supporting you and those are not thoughts you want to keep having returning all the time so especially in meditation right so anyway that's just a tip i wanted to give it out to everybody it's been on my mind i think i'll send it to my email list it's called beatfulness i mean i'm on an apple so i imagine it's for other phones as well but check it out okay so the next card that i picked was as above so below as above so below and the way in which i feel that this is coming through is kind of tied into this last thing with meditation, all right? So as a, it's more like heaven and earth. 
Now, I know I like to do a meditation in the shower where I'm just calling in that heavenly light, letting it wash through my whole body. As the water flows through, it's just kind of as if that water is the light. And it is the light because I, I, that's what I'm bringing in. It's light. And it's washing away lower energies, going out my feet, down the drain, being transformed and transmuted back to pure love. And then that beautiful earth energy comes up from the core there, up my through my feet, my legs, my whole body, up and out through my head. Because I always like to imagine that this energy is kind of wrapping around the spiritual sun and wrapping around the core of the earth. And then that energy is just flowing. And it really does feel amazing. And so this card, I feel, is more about that kind of thing. Like being able to be in those spaces, those heavenly spaces, those higher vibrational spaces, um, those other dimensional spaces without losing your groundedness to this planet, to the earth. Because the truth is, you know, so it's really the deeper you can ground, the more grounded you can be, the easier it is to flow out into those higher dimensions. So that's something that to play with too. So, so far they're talking about really, again, it is self-nurturing, like, like we said at the beginning of the month but really tuning in, allowing yourself to be in this um, beautiful space where you're open to inspiration. That's what it's all about. We are creative beings. And when we can just be that creative being without that ego mind coming in and putting in all the reasons why that idea won't work or you can't do that or you're not good enough or whatever the stories might be, um, this is more about just being in that energy of the creative and creative energy, letting it flow without doubt, just holding that connection to the light, knowing you're grounded here on earth, finding that safety and security in that and um, allowing yourself to create, to be the creator that you are. I mean, your thoughts do create things. There's no way around it. It's the way it is. So being mindful, being in this meditative state, being aware of the thoughts that aren't supporting you, you just let that go. And what, what I like about this reading is that the next card that I pulled is from a deck I haven't used in a long time, Soul Coaching. All right. So the card is Enthusiasm. Wow. Isn't that a beautiful energy to create from? Right. So getting this inspiration coming in, um, feeling you're grounded as you are connected to the heavens, like really being the creator energy you are, the godlike energy that you are and following up or just feeling enthusiasm for whatever it is that comes through and whatever it is that already exists in your life. So. Even when you're going through tough times, and I'm going through a little, little bit of a tough time right now. I've been for a little while, and that's why I've been playing with this whole thing with ego and soul, because it's become so obvious to me now when I get stuck in that ego trap and when I'm so much in this energy of enthusiasm. And it can go from day to day. I mean, that's the thing with spiritual awakening. It's like up, down, up, down, up, down. But you're constantly going up, 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 up as because those down moments are truly, really assisting you to release the programs and the patterns that do not serve you. So being that we are creators and we can receive and tap into energy and answers all around us, if we can just let ourselves be in that relaxed and rejuvenated state, open to the inspiration that wants to come through and feeling this energy of enthusiasm. So the reason I brought up struggle is because sometimes, I mean, sometimes, I mean, there's always something that we're going through, otherwise we'd be bored to tears, right? There is nothing new to discover or learn or move through. Um, even if it's like not a huge struggle, but you're, you can't figure out the next way to make this product work or whatever it might be. And when you get too stuck in your head and don't allow that, it doesn't allow for that inspiration to fall in. It's hard to hold the enthusiasm for that initial idea, right? So that's just an example. It wanted to come through. I don't know why. Maybe it's speaking to a lot of people out there right now. Um, so my point with this car enthusiasm, what I really feel besides the fact that I think we can finally start being really enthusiastic about 
the energetic changes that are happening around us in the planet, in the collective. We've been doing so much of that purging and stuff, and now it's really coming back home, coming back to you, to your truth that you are a creator. That's what you are. That first and foremost, that's what you are, because nothing exists if you didn't create it. Even just be a witness to someone else's creation, you took part in that creation because, of course, we're all one. So even the things, when things are going wrong, find enthusiasm for anything you can find enthusiasm for. Because it doesn't really matter what creates the enthusiasm, whether it actually exists in your reality or not. It's the energy of enthusiasm that spreads the energy of joy, the energy of love, any high vibrational energy. Find more and more ways to feel it, to truly feel that energy, feel it in your whole body. Yeah, maybe even take that energy into a meditation with you, right? Because if you hold this energy of enthusiasm, if you hold a high vibration, things will just fall into line. Answers you didn't have before will come. <laughs> My cat's kicking in again to the video. Um, so we'll leave it at that for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that these cards speaking to you, they're certainly speaking to me. Um, I intend to really set that intention to hold these high vibrations, especially enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, that's that childlike wonder. I love talking about childlike wonder because we come here. We're young. We're enthusiastic about everything. We want to find out about everything. We want to touch everything. And then the big people tell us not to. And then here starts the programming, right? <laughs> that brings you, that makes you small and not realize how huge and amazing you are as a creator, right? So see where that takes you. And uh, I'll follow up with the November energy reading pretty soon. And I got a couple of videos I want to share. I'm going to start creating again. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I love comments. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.